For those looking to buy or sell Madden Ultimate Team Coins, check out the Mud Store. They have cheap prices, fast delivery, and great customer service. Use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's going on, It's your boy Texas back over here in some much salary cap as our opponent is going deep to Brashard Perryman. Caught me out here in cover three, ran a zone beer. Actually, I think that play might be any zone. I think that thing might be any zone coverage, and that got me worried immediately. I'm over here on the phone with a YouTuber. Not going to say who it is. Not going to say who it is, but man, for some reason, like this dude was making all the adjustments in the world to go ahead and get the ball down the field, and it worked for this dude. So now we get the ball back on offense. Trying to do the same thing. Wildcats not working as of right now. So go ahead and shelf that right quick. Find some plays they get open. Cover three beater. We get a nice dot thrown by Johnny Menzel. And Jeff Jans come with a tough reception in traffic on third and 11. All the time in the pocket. Because this guy's out here in three man pass rush. And Jeff Janis gets open once again. Jeff Janis is turning into that guy, man. He's turning into that amazing slot receiver that fits my scheme perfectly. So. Previously, I might have mentioned that I wasn't be playing a lot more of this because I'm not a fan of the salary cap mode as much as the next guy is. Like, I like everything it represents, but I'm not a fan of the rewards. If you guys think about it, if you guys play six games, win all six games, on top of getting 6,000 coins or whatever in quick sales, I think it's the average they said, because it's basically between 500 and basic, or maybe 100 and like maybe 5K, so you can get around 6K average. You also have the season's salary cap collectibles which you can quick sell for 1500 coins a pop or they added a seasons pro set so now you can collect three of them and get a seasons pro which can be used for a seasons veteran so now i am into this thing fully i gotta work tonight unfortunately so i'm not gonna get a chance to go ahead and you know play uh, the mode as much as I would like to, but tomorrow, man, I'm gonna be grinding this all day. I may even stream as right there. If we would have got that pick, we probably would have ended up scoring on this drive and preventing this dude from running this weird ass motion play. Yo, this dude was making all the adjustments, man. It was working. I put a guy in a purple there, but for some reason, Darius Slay was like, I'm good, man. I'm gonna try and play that guy over there in the corner, and he gets a touchdown because of that. So on second and 12 again, three man pass rush. Don't play it against me, man. Don't play it against me if Jeff Janis beats this dude's slot receiver and gets us in the red zone. So now we are pretty much not worried one bit, man. My offense can pretty much score on this dude's defense, but this dude's offense is scoring my defense. Now he's doing a lot of adjustments, man. A lot of adjust, a lot of cover three, a lot of man, a lot of cover four beaters, man. This dude is out here. Yo, I'm pretty sure he's running an ebook. If down in the comment section below, let me know what ebook this guy is running because there's some plays here that I don't think the average player would come up with unless he went on YouTube or went on to these websites that sell these things. Plus on defense, some of the plays I don't show, he was sending some type of savage blitz at me. So let me know what kind of ebook this is and who's the person that's selling it because this is definitely an ebook, man. Like this dude was not deviating from the plane. He came out here in this bench formation, which is actually not it's not bench, trip formation, which is actually really, really hard to play because there's so many things that he can do and you're relying upon your players to make plays on these routes that he's running in. For some reason, my guy's just really doing it. Again, he brings the guy over to the right side of the field. I think he's going to go to the corner. Nope. 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 He throws to the back of the end zone. That was a cover four beater, and I was out there in cover four. So, again, he has all these trick plays up his sleeve to create separation. And now I just got to get one pick. And one pick, I should be able to win this game because it looks like it's going to come down and get the ball last to go win this game. So here's the ball, third and eight. I'm thinking I'm gonna get a stop right here. Get some pressure on this guy. So now it's fourth and eight. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I'm using bar and I drop back too far. And he gets the first down because my user game was just not on point in this game. Now this guy's going to the flat, man. Making smart decisions, man. Stays in bounds, gets the first down as well. Making great decisions, not throwing any bad passes as of right now. Again, goes back to this motion play, brings the guy to the out don't know what I'm supposed to do to stop the other than user it. I'm just trying not to get beat deep. Throws the wheel right here to Todd Griller, who just trucks Adrian Amos, and he did not have a good game. He was not in his best form this game. So 
That's foreshadowing, by the way, so keep that in mind. Corner out to the end zone, and he gets in as well. So my man coverage isn't working. My zone coverage isn't working, and I'm not getting any pressure on this guy. So he has all the time in the world. Throw a screenplay, which would have been a touchdown, but I trip. <laughs> would have been a touchdown, but I trip. And then the very next play, really, though, like with the tripping, like, yo, EA, throw a flag. The NFL outlaws tripping. And for some reason, on two plays, I've been getting tripped up. Third and 13, get a first down catch with Travis Kelsey, breaks the tackle, fight for those yards. And now we got a first and 10 again, run the ball from the field. Nice wrap attack right there. This dude's out here in this three man pass rush, man. Time to run the ball against him, man. Gotta punish this dude for running that. Again, this is just what we're gonna do, man. I'll take the four yards a game, man. Like, if you're gonna keep playing that type of defense, it'll be all right. And I think we got a touchdown here. And again, we trip. Come on, man, with the tripping nonsense. Third and four, as you guys saw in that play, he tried to send some mean-ass blitz, man. He tried, but he fell. Luckily for us, Jeff Jans gets a nice catch, gets the first down, and now we are cooking as D'Angelo Williams is just a monster, man. Go, D'Angelo, and I try to come back to at least take this dude's timeouts from him, and that did not happen. And now this dude has a chance to get the ball and score, and we cannot tackle on the kick off coverage. Oh my goodness, man. Like, yo, come on, man. So we got three timeouts. We got three timeouts. It's on third and six. I'm thinking, okay, we need one stop, one stop, one stop, and Ammos versus his tight end. And Ammos just does not play the ball or the receiver. And then he does a QB sneak, dives the opposite way, and then ends up kicking a field goal to win the game. So we lost the game. That's our second game. We lost for salary caps. Right now we're three and two. We should be four and one, but we got cheated because the guy kicked me out of the game. So unfortunately for the first season of this salary cap with my gold gems, we come up three games short. Kind of sucks, but it's all good, man, because we are going to continually play this. Like I'm going to get Mutt Master done playing this. And at the same damn time, I'm getting the elite tier. At the same damn time, I might have a chance to compete in the much salary cap tournament. And you guys will also be getting a lot more of these salary cap lineups because I'm over here looking on Muddy Ed, looking on EA Sports website, figuring out exactly how I'm gonna construct my team. And I think I might have figured out one of the best salary cap teams to have for the low. So hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I'll bring back gameplay number one for the episode. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? What I'm trying to say is later on tonight, I'll probably be uploading another game for the much salary cap with the same gold team. I think I made one adjustment and you guys see that later on down the line but hope you guys enjoyed it's kind of cool man so for the first time salary cap reward we get three gold players that i can't do nothing with i'm gonna keep jimmy smith though because he's actually pretty cool but other than that everything else is gonna go into those sets and hopefully we can go ahead and get mutt master and ultimate master all that shit done soon so i'll see y'all later peace